Okay, so here's part eight. Um, all right, we're gonna save at state number eight, I think. Yeah, eight. Oh, shoot. Oh, don't worry, that was seven, okay. Same place, so not much to worry about. Okay, so there's, there's some weapons we didn't need, so we're gonna sell those things, actually. Now we're gonna go to this arm shop here. Um, I'm not sure if the other stores will sell, will like take your items for more money or less, but I, no, I don't, I've never really paid attention to that. Okay, so here's a hammer. I don't think we're gonna need this. I mean, but, um, see, I'm kinda like a, I kinda got like compulsive hoarding on this game because it's like I have, I feel need to keep everything. Halberd, uh, I don't really know what that is. See, now, now I'm starting to, you know, want more ass, but hold on. Let's see how much this sword's worth. Okay. We're gonna take the sword, sell any more, no. We're gonna go back, use item, trade, and we're gonna trade this broadsword to Gwydion. And now he's got it. Now, let's see if that sword's worth anything. 1,000 gold pieces, okay, so that's pretty good. Um, let's see how much this long sword is. 1,000 gold pieces. Well, we're gonna have to check, um, and I'm sorry I'm holding you guys up here, but I'm showing you what you guys might want to do for get his flails one gold piece. So we're gonna sell that. Let's see how much this flail is. Oh, 2,000, let's not sell that. Usually the more money it is, obviously the better it's gonna be. So 1,000 gold pieces. Let's see how much this is worth. Seven gold pieces, we don't need that. Um, I think that's all we needed. So, uh, Mike, I, we got some stuff left for inventory. So, we're going to go to Sokol Keep on Thorn Island. I, when, I, when I played this game as a kid, I thought that the boat was Sokol Keep, but it's not. It's actually an island. So, he's only he's telling me that... Um, he, I think that's the tour, tour guide from the beginning of the game. I'm not sure he's got the same face. So we have the Fortress of Sokol Keep. Now, when we go out there, we're get, there's going to be undead encountering us, and those are the fallen warriors of Sokol Keep. So you're obviously going to want to avoid those battles. So here's what you want to do. We want to go over to the, what is it, northwest corner, and we're going to search, and there's elvish words. Now. In the computer version, they actually gave you like these weird characters and stuff that you're supposed to understand. I don't remember the words, and I don't know what this option's for. This elf expired a long time ago. Yeah, and I'm doing a walk through Pool of Radiance. But then again, that was obvious. Now you can attack it, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I forgot whose body that is. If someone wants to give me a reminder, I, that would be nice. If I, if I remember, then I'll tell you. I'll put an annotation in, so here's an undead. So you just parley, and you try the words, and the undead leave. Just like that. See? So we're gonna go in this room, whoops. The room on the left, on the other side, it's unnecessary. There's a scorpion battle there, and it's, it's just a waste of time, and it can kill the poison your characters, so. We're gonna go in here, and... Okay. Frog's croak. Okay. You're gonna move twice, and the frog's turn becomes louder. Now, you might think, oh god, these things are going to be hard, but to be honest, these things are easier than kobolds. Look, one hit, oh, whoops, I'm going to equip this guy, obviously. Flail, and we're going to kill this, these frogs. But see, like, I, I've actually never got poisoned by one of these things. They call them poisonous frogs, but I've never, I can't remember ever getting poisoned by these things. I, I think these things have three points of damage. I'm if, if my memory serves me correctly, like I said, you know, it's been a long time since I've played this game, so I don't really remember. My my guide should have the points or my updated guide, which I haven't uploaded yet, but I plan to. Uh, maybe it's already uploaded on GameFAQ, so I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. These things you don't have to worry about having a bow and arrow for. Don't worry about it. Okay. No! We're gonna... See? That was easy. Not even a challenge. Took a few minutes, yeah, but... 
they're really easy. Now we're going to go out here. Um, now you can go in this little, there's a secret passageway here, and you can go in here and there's some like items and stuff that you can sell for money. My, I, I've never really took in them. So we're going to go in this room acro um, across in the west, nothing valuable in the room. Now we're going to move a few times so there's Spectre, or that's what it's supposed to be, that's what that monster is. Anyways, you're going to hear all these voices, now you're going to advance, now partly, since you have the scroll, and now, um, now in the computer version it says one, one ghost speaks louder than the rest, and he says, we were soldiers of the keep, the head clerk bounds our spirits to hear us guards, there's the head clerk's diary, read it, okay, so here's the, here you go, here's a diary in the floorboard, Monsters attack us again. They do how to fight better than kobolds or goblins. I think they have a strong leader. They are too good. We can't beat them in this condition. Fern Martinez has prepared terrible spells. Now we have no other choice but to defend ourselves. Find precious stones of diary. You can take them. They're, you know, uh, it's not going to kill you. So this is actually going to be the final battle here. And, and I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but here we go. You suddenly hear sound. And that thing's an ogre. A huge army led by an ogre crushed through the door and attacks! Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay, enough acting like a retard. We're gonna We're gonna kill these guys now. There's a bunch of hobgoblins. Now usually I use my necklace for this battle. Now the necklace does have limited shots, I think it has like five to ten shots. But I mean you you'll find a few like one or two more throughout the game. I mean they're not like required to beat the game, but I mean they, they do work wonders and I I'm gonna use my necklace here. Um okay, here we go. The hobgoblins are the are my main concern and the ogres. So see all the ogres are dead. See this isn't even a battle. This is like cheating. See already one guy left. That reminds me of Counter-Strike Source when you're playing with bots. One guy left. Just thought I'd bring that up. Come on. You, you can't beat us, you idiots. Why are you trying to... There we go. See? Not even a battle. And I'm already done. Gather your men at City Port. Now you go to Sulkle Keep and slay the humans if they come. If you do well, you'll be rewarded the boss, a.k.a. Tyranthraxus. So we're going to save, and we're going to go here. This is the remains of our shrine. There are two tried up orc bodies with contorted faces. The main part of the shrine is to the south. Now let's go south and see what waits for us there. Oh! Whoa! So this is... I don't know what he looks like in the computer version. I'd really like to see what he looks like in the computer version. But and is that a martini next to him? And behind him? I don't know. Anyways, this is Farron Martinez, the guy you read about, we read about earlier. And you try all the words for the elf scroll and you begin to talk. I am Farron Martinez of Sulco Keep. Tell me, what has become a flan now? I'm going to save here and tell you, show you what happens. Remains destroyed. I don't know what that means. You are a liar! That is not true! Martin, Martinez disappears with a cry. You leave. Okay. Leave without answering. And you go back to the entrance of the place. Okay, so we're going to tell the truth. That's what you want to do. And what destroyed flan were those who gained their terrible power from the magic pool? It was monsters such as Tyranthraxus, Edranka, and Toroth who led them. Mender the Wise had gathered many book records about them, but his library was overrun and the books were lost. There is an illusion in the wall in the armory. Go to the other side of the wall. There you will find useful items. I will give you the passwords to avoid battling the guards. Plan is rebuilt so I can sleep peacefully now. Martinez fades slowly from view. Now the armory is talking about is the one I was talking about earlier. The one in the northwest corner, or I mean northeast. I My bad. Now we're going to go back and get our reward and... We're gonna come across undead. Now you can battle them if you want, but I usually just, you know, you already have the pass for when you read that elf scroll. So, oh god, please don't. Fuck. Oh, I didn't mean to swear. Seriously, my bad. I try to keep this clean, but and there we go. So complete. So that. So cool. Keep. Ugh. I can't even talk today. Um, so the good way to pass the time is turn search mode on. And 
five in the morning is when Okay. Oh crap, I need to hurry. So she's gonna give us her reward. We got still to keep back things here. We go anywhere by boat now. Take your reward. And that's what we get. Um, oh gosh, I gotta hurry. Uh, okay, we got that. Cancel your door and wants you to accept special mission. Go to the East Stream. We're gonna worry about that in the next part. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.